Meanwhile, Mohammed Sanusi II, the deposed Emir of Kanu, has arrived in local Nasrawa state where he is expected to begin a life in exile. He arrived the town on Monday night. Sanusi was on Monday dethroned by the Kanu state government and banished to local in Nasrawa state. According to the secretary to the government of the state, Usman al-Haji, who made the announcement after the state executive council meeting, the dethronement is in line with the provision of Kanu state emirate council law 2019. He added section 11 subsection 1 of the law has empowered the governor to appoint Amino Addo Bayero as the new emir of Kanu. Bayero is the 15th emir of Fulani until his appointment as emir of Kanu. Bayero was the emir of Bichi, one of the four newly created emirates. Joining us now of our telephone is a resident of Kanu State, Nura Adamu Isa. Many thanks for joining us at this hour. How the people, the residents, are responding to the news of the dethronement of the um, former emir? Yeah, the people in the Emirate comes to, some of them are jubilating and some of them are angry. Even as uh, yesterday, when they were trying to took away the emir from the palace by the Commissioner of Police of Kano, people were starting arresting the police when they tear gas them before they took drove the emir out of the palace. But now the area is calm and no any tension around. Even the emir today went on tour around the house, the Emirate Council. So how do you see the manner at which St. Lucie was dethroned and the appointment of a new uh, emir just hours after? Yeah, to me, I can say that this is just a political behind politics. It's behind it is the governor used his power as a politician and dethroning him due to his personal grudges with him, but not on what is on ground, as they say that it's insubordination and what have you. Okay, because I, I was going to ask you that question um, about the uh, accusation of insubordination, and they actually used a law uh, to take him out of office. They also cited his refusal to attend official meeting. What is your take on this, the whole reason that was given? Yes, if I am to say something, probably they didn't invite him. During a meeting, they will call the email of Pichi, and I didn't see any letter or written document that said, yes, they invited him, he didn't come on meeting. Okay. He didn't come, he's insubordinate to their order or to the whatever they said. I didn't see anything document that backed that down issue. Right. If they want to accuse him of that, they should have given a document, written document that says, this is the letter we give you and invite you for social -so -so occasion and he didn't come. So, away from that for a moment, what are your expectations from the new Emir and how can he prevent crisis in the Emirate from, you know, sort of escalating? Yeah, the new Emir, although he's the son of the late Emir of Kadu, and uh, he's a nice man, but not as the dethroned Emir. Are you there, Nura? Hello, uh, I'm with you. Okay. Um, what, what, what advice do you have for the new Emir, quickly? Uh, what I would just advise the new Emir is to just be patient and be open-minded with the people of Kanu. And you should not be a one-sided Emir in the sense that you should not be into a politics Maybe this party is the one that brought him in. He should love this party more than this member of this party. He should love everybody as one. As the father of the land, he should love everybody as one. All right, Nura, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, thank you.